Today's the uh, restart of umbrella fairs. They used to happen in the 1990s. Uh, was always about raising awareness of environmental issues. Umbrella comes from the fact that it was Greenpeace Friends of the Earth um, and another group I can't remember now got together singularly they weren't really big enough but as an umbrella working together they could put on events so they put on a number of umbrella events um, which was about bringing the community together to look at issues around environmental awareness climate change so in the 1990s we were all aware of that and it's really weird 2004 2005 suddenly the government's become aware of it and uh, some governments still kind of seem to refuse to acknowledge it but there is huge environmental problems huge environmental impact from co2 emissions all the stuff that we're doing um, we need to actually stop and change and do stuff differently um, today's about raising awareness of that um, so there'll be some there is some modern there's some of the environmental technologies here we've got solar panels here we've got wind generators coming as exhibition vehicles um, recycling is going to be done here um, you know all that kind of the stuff which makes which reduces your carbon footprint which makes your life a greener life um, all those kind of things will be part of what we do today as well as raising awareness of those issues today We've put today together in 12 weeks, so that might sound like there's not a lot of work gone into it, but we've worked very hard um, behind the scenes. Uh, every Wednesday we've got together, either met or done uh, uh, making decorations, um, things that kind of put a bit of colour and a bit of uh, vibrancy into the day. Um, you get getting, I think over the day, there's going to be something like 30 different performers perform. Um, different, I, I don't mean single performers like bands or performance pieces. You're just getting that together takes a fair bit of doing. Mm. It's about 15 years or so ago we used to have umbrella events in the town. Um, they went off for a few years but they're back now with a vengeance and we hope that over the next few years we can build them into big events again. My dad was one of the organisers when I was younger so I was always quite involved in uh, being around the people who were sorting it out and, and being there and the atmosphere and you know I've, quite, I've had that sort of upbringing where it, environmental awareness is really has been really important to me and I think that it's, it's good to pass it on to everybody else. Well, it's been put together in about 12 weeks which uh, has been a bit of a, an amazing effort from all involved really. <laughs> Gushed 
were mostly rocks and sand Oh dear God, what has happened here? They've got helicopter huntsmen stalking deer On the estate of some shake from a foreign land Who unfortunately neither cares nor understands What he's done or what he's become I'm not really a... Uh... I'm a bit of a fraud, I'm not an organiser, I'm just a uh, hands-on girlfriend. Kate is the, uh, she's been heavily involved in this from the start, so um, I think initially, years ago, that when the fair was up and running before, her dad, Richard, was quite heavily involved with it, and I think Kate just felt it was time to maybe do some it again. Today there is a festival going on uh, for the Umbrella Fair. Um, basically it's a group of people got together 12 weeks ago. Myself, I was involved approximately three weeks ago. Brought in at the last minute to help site manage. Which we listen to the sea. job today is running the main music stage so we've got six bands on and uh, we're going to be on that lorry over there. I'm just uh, going to be doing the uh, sound for the performance area. I mean, look, it looks absolutely brilliant. Um, I just wished I would, we'd have had an extra two weeks to do a little bit more planning. But if you ask me that in an hour's time, I'll probably say everything was fine. Well, it's going great. It's really coming together well. It's looking really nice. I'm glad the weather's turned out so, uh, so fantastic. Tired, been here since about six o'clock this morning. Haven't had a break, but yeah, everything's going really well. Hello, is all going well? Uh, yeah, well, as long as I've got enough bits, I'm not sure. I've probably left something somewhere, but. Yeah. It's taken on a lovely form of its own. Uh, it's near enough to what we'd hoped for. The free energy people are here, that's good. The bandstand looks incredible. Uh, the children are all happily chalking. Everybody's chilling, getting it together. Um, we're doing a vegetarian cafe and we're um, going to have some coffee cakes and chocolate cakes and teas and coffees and little drinks for kids as well. So. And uh, yeah, hopefully everything will be, be fine. I've not been involved, but I've come along because I know what it's like on the day. So as many people as possible helping, and it also creates a really nice atmosphere. Come gather now people at the time on a place. Down in a hollow beneath the moon's face. You only need no money because the road is not poor. Come with me and together we'll travel once more. I'm just having a go at putting this yurt up. Um, I think I'll probably end up end up sleeping in it this evening. Get me to the station. Get me to the train on time. The Mongolian Gur, um, because it's got straight poles rather than straight roof poles rather than bent roof poles, and. Uh, yeah, it's sort of about as, as traditional as you can sort of make it, I suppose, in England. Although I've never seen a traditional Mongolian one, so I haven't got anything to compare it to, really. We've had half a Yeah, pretty much. 
Right. Um, well, my mum, mum helped me do the, the cover because I had to go at sewing and I can't sew, I found out. So she, uh, she sewed the cover together for us. <laughs> Uh, setting up this pole lathe, just do a bit of demonstration on it, I suppose. It's an old traditional thing that was done in the woods, so it had to be portable and that. And uh, the old budgers who'd make the chair bits, to go into, they'd buy us standard trees, usually beech trees, down by High Wycombe, and, um, and make as many bits for the chair business as possible and I'd make them in the woods, stack them up, all the chair legs and uh, spindles and stuff and then take them down into High Wycombe to be made up in the factories into the, into the chairs. What is the matter with Britain? What is the matter of the land? Won't some small good angel strike a tuning fork so we can realise the chord of love to which we all secretly aspire? I've been wheeled in to do this. Tell you what, it's all coming together quite nicely, with one small exception. What's that? The generator. We're just getting I'm, another I'm generator. I'm, so KV is it? KVA 1.2. Yeah. It's one of those things that just sometimes catches you out. You need some extra power from somewhere. So they've got a 1.1 at 99 quid and they've got a 2.8 at 199. 2.8 that's a Mac, that's that's a pauper. <laughs> it's lovely to see it all come together. Really, really nice. I like it. So it's amazing when you've just seen it on paper and it's all been planned for it to finally be real and here. I love it. It's fantastic. <laughs> Doing a set in about half an hour, I think 25 20 minutes. Right, we're on. I'm just waiting for my vegetarian falafels to be ready, like, and then I should be souped up and on stage. I've already done some Western's organic cider, like 8.2, so the libations are flowing. And the only traveling talk of ale is amongst the jouster in the sunny reel. For travel it is an active state and once formed in sterile comes debate and touching transients cool and pale we safe return to danger talk. some honey beer. So I'm gonna be plastered by the time I get home but it will all be good. It will all be good. It will be seamless. Double herb is ever sleeping on a street they double in social lubrication. Mind expansion. Something to ease the ease of no redemption in the now an industry realm of Bed sits land or shared apartments, crusty brand. Now our pixies, wood elves, nymphets, pride and wood to turn the coming tide of profit, loss, morass, 
and dross grace that condos replete with moss. The destruction of our green swept land, all post redemptive ozone band, where urban gorillas tore the street in advance of the market shopping fleet with sun packed raisins out of date, but within the price of the welfare state to support our brethren in a daily chore, a pound for a clip spent at foreign shore, warding off the general dread of export invasion from the red hour pixies lack Kalashnikovs, not daily bread. sent a man on a mission to purchase a generator yeah, uh, and wouldn't you know it the saws we want them the saws we want they've got smaller in stock or like a lot bigger so unfortunately we're going to get a generator probably twice the size we need um, was it bad planning you guys are waiting for them we waited for the flight meanwhile in Cedar Road there's a wise man got a property but he calls Sea View one day that bottle's gonna fall all down Jimmy's in Grafton Street's gonna be closer to the door end You get the sausage, you wanna throw it off Get on the train, you gotta do the crawl Cause one day that bottle's gonna wash it away Oh yeah It's our anniversary Where? What anniversary? Yeah, we've been married now 17 years 228 days. That's very specific. Yeah, I, I'm counting. So happy birthday and ha happy, happy anniversary. Birthday. <laughs> Don't include that on there. Fantastic, thank you very much. Superb, everyone enjoying the food? I think so, no complaints yet, so that's good. Yeah, good. <laughs> Some pole life held over? Yeah, well, it fell down twice, once onto your son's head. But he was alright about it. And once onto another little kid's head. But other than that, yeah. And that's for Went this, well. who's this for? Health and safety. <laughs> I've just been asking stall holders because they're kind of like punters of ours, really. Been asking them how they, what the day was like. Everyone has said they've had a great time. Everyone has said they've enjoyed it. Everyone said that it was um, more than they expected in terms of what they wanted to get out of the day. So, and people have been giving us um, a donation on top of their pitch rental, which is kind of them saying they've had a good day financially. Which I don't, I'm not into the old capital thing, capitalistic thing, but. It's an indicator, isn't it? It's an indicator they've had a good day.
the sun to create power, the solar power. So, and so what we, instead of using the sun to create solar power, we dig a hole in the ground and look around for coal. Can you imagine how dangerous that might be, looking underground? However, we sent people down there to do it on our behalf. They come back with this black stuff and it looks a bit sooty. We burn it and of course it makes this really disgraceful black smoke, which has got loads of carbon in it and then they create energy from that, called electricity, using coal. When in actual fact, if we could just did it from the CERN, there'd be like what they call no carbon emission, no carbon footprint. However, we still dig the ground and look for coal. Beyond me. There's nothing that we could have done more, you know. It, it's a, when you get perfect pitch, perfect harmony, when the whole world comes together in beautiful unison, that is here and that is now and it is today. Brilliant, a complete success. I'm so happy with it. I just think, I don't think it could have gone any better, I think. Oh, I love that everybody has been so positive about it and it's bred so much enthusiasm for next year and wanting it to happen and it's just fantastic. Oh, people have, it, I think the best thing about it um, that hasn't happened for a while is that it's got a lot of people interested in wanting to do more and you know wanting to be involved which is what it's all about and that, that's, the, that's all I could ask for. I think that's the, the best thing that could have come out of it really. Really, really, really pleased.
tune in, I was like. Oh, yeah. What a day. I love that it's all happened in a day. Now it's all gone. <laughs> it's like magic. Now it's time to relax. Don't have another check. <laughs> Good day. Music went well. Yeah, it went well. It was really good. Really enjoyed it. Yeah. Shattered now. Uh, oh, there's always a few problems, but nothing we couldn't deal with. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now it was a great day. Really good. 14 hours of good work. 14 hours? Yeah, and then some, I guess. Yeah. Got a few hours left yet before we can party. But we will. <laughs> we'll get up. Second run, it's coming third. Oh, yeah. It's been tiring, but I think it's been worth it. So, just I was just amazed by how many people were here and just how busy it got. And yeah, it was, it was brilliant. It was brilliant. I really loved it. Good day out. Yeah, good atmosphere. No trouble or anything like that. Really sort of good sense of community. So. Did you get a chance to see any of the band? I did, yeah. I snuck out for a bit and sell some leaflets. So, but, oh yeah, yeah, just sat on one of the bands. That's good. That's really good. When I first went to the first Umbrella Fair committee meeting, they asked me, you know, what, what do you want to get out of this? And um, it was to drive a big lorry. And look at me now. <laughs> 